using a scientific calculator with Pythagorean theorem. Whenever two sides of a right triangle are known, the third side can be determined by using the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of its other two sides. So what we have here then, the square of the hypotenuse, that's c squared, is equal to the sum of the square of the two sides. So you got b and a, and so a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now let's look at this problem, but before we do and solve this problem, finding this unknown side, I want to introduce a little bit of the scientific calculator because there's something you have to be extremely careful with. It, that is not to leave numbers in memory. I'm going to put a number 5 here into memory. That's the sum button on this particular calculator. And study your calculator. Find out what it says on there. And notice there's an M in here. Now I can press clear. Watch. 1, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times. That 5 is still in memory. Now if I'm not careful and I'm doing some kind of math problem, let's say 10 sum plus 10 sum, recall, I get 25, I don't get 20 because that's 5 was still in memory. So by pressing this particular button in this calculator, that doesn't clear memory. I have to press the AC, and that's also my on button over here, and that clears the memory. So make sure when you're working with a scientific calculator, watch that little corner and your memory might be in the middle, it might have a different symbol, but whatever it has, be careful there's no numbers in memory when you're doing math because we're going to show you how easy it is to use a calculator when you have to multiply two numbers. We're going to use this here, x and a little 2 of it, which is exponent 2, and using that button. So let's just put in the numbers, c squared equals a squared, and that's 4.5, we don't have to put the zeros in because it doesn't amount to anything when you have zeros after a decimal point, times 4.5 plus b squared is 6.25, 6.25 multiplied by 6.25. Now we know there's nothing in memory, we could just press this button to make sure, so it's 4.5 and all I have to do is hit this here button, and that multiplies 4.5 by 4.5. Now I'm going to press the sum, and now notice there's the memory up in the corner. Now it's 6.25, 6.25, and I press that button again, that multiplies 6.25 by 6.25, and sum, and then recall. And their answer is, 59.3125. So c squared equals 59.3125. Now we have to get the square root of this number and the square root of this, and that will give us c. Now in this particular calculator, to get the square root, if you notice, it's in blue and the x is inside the square root, so I have to use a second function. I have to press this button over here to activate the second function of this button. So hit second, and that is a little indicator on this calculator showing me that the second, or the inverse button, is pressed, and all I have to do is press this, and that comes to 7.70146. So the answer is 7.7015. And so you can see when you use a scientific calculator, once you get accustomed to it, you can do problems like this very rapidly. You work for a power company, and you have 25 of these light poles that they want you to reinforce. And it's 40 feet high from the base to the top, And from the base of the pole to where it gets reinforced to the ground is 15 feet. And if you have one foot overlap on the bottom and on the top, 
How many feet of cable will you need? Let's do the math. We have a telephone pole, and it's attached on the top 40 feet from the ground and 15 feet from the base of the pole. And this is a right triangle. Now we can use the Pythagorean theorem. And remember, this is the hypotenuse now. It's always along the side. That's the hypotenuse. It's opposite the right triangle. And that would be C. And we can make either side A or B. It makes no difference. So we'll make this as A, and we'll make this as B. And the Pythagorean theorem states that C squared equals A squared plus b squared. So let's just put in the numbers. c squared equals a squared, which is 15 squared, plus b squared, which is 40 squared. Let's just go to the calculator. Again, make sure it's all clear, nothing in memory. And so it's 15 squared sum plus 40 squared sum, recall, press the second or inverse button, press this over here, and that's 42.700. This time we will not use the memory keys. So 15 squared is x squared plus 40 x squared up here equals 1,825, now we want to find the square root of that, and then we use the inverse key, or the second key here, and that will equal 42.7200. And then remember, there's one foot on each end, so we have to add two feet onto this cable, plus two equals, and there's 25 poles, that we have to fasten in this manner. So we have to multiply that by 25. So they give us 1,118 feet of cable. So for 25 poles, you'll need 1,118 feet of cable. So you can see, using a scientific calculator makes solving a problem like this very simple. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.